A Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good morning, Ephrata. My name is Seth. And my name is Edwin. And today is Friday, December 1st, and there are only 24 more days until Christmas. Please rise for a moment of silence and the pledge to the flag. Attention seniors, don't miss out on your opportunity to get a genuine Effort the Class of 2018 shirt. You have choices of a t-shirt, long sleeve shirt, or sweatshirt in both traditional cotton or performance material. Order forms are available on the senior webpage on Schoology and the Class of 2018 group from any of your senior class officers or from Mr. Geyer in room 129. The deadline for placing an order is today. All orders and payments can be turned in to Mr. Geyer in room 129 before 2.40 today. Seniors, there will be a FAFSA cafe on December 5th during all lunches. This will be for you to sign up for a FAFSA ID and will only take a few minutes. You will need a FAFSA ID to complete the FAFSA and now is the time to do it. Come to the FAFSA table at lunch on December 5th. Once again, an announcement for all you beautiful seniors. On December 12th, EHS will be holding a FAFSA completion night in conjunction with FIA to senior parents completing the free application for student aid. On Wednesday, December 12, 2017, two sessions, sessions will be offered, and parents should reserve a time by signing up on Sign Up Genius. Session, session times are 5 to 5.45 p.m. and 5.45 to 6.30 p.m. in the high school cafeteria. The sign-up is posted on the Class of 2018 School Juice webpage. Hach Dual Enrollment is now open for the spring of 2018. Please come check out the Guidance of the Dual Enrollment website for links to the courses available and at the application. There are also hard copies in the Guidance Office. Do not submit any money. Hach, with two C's, will bill you when they get the application. Please have the completed application uh, packet to Guidance by December 15, 2017. Also check out the other Dual Enrollment opportunities on the Guidance website. Now over to Marius Miller with the news. President Donald Trump, in another bold move of foreign policy in the Middle East, has considered recognizing the city of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and moving the U.S. Embassy there from its current residence in Tel Aviv. When Israel was originally partitioned, Jerusalem was originally expected to be shared between the two states of Israel and Palestine, causing the modern controversy in which Jerusalem is not legally supposed to be Israel's capital, but is the de facto center of its government. The plot thickens and the thick plottens in Honduras today as the opposition candidate, Salvador Nasrallah, has announced that he refuses to recognize the poll count and has accused the electoral court of manipulating the results, despite the fact that he initially vowed to respect the election results at the beginning of the cycle. We've only got two today. That's it. It's a slow news day, but also Edwin's lazy and woke up late. And I'm allowed to say that because it's in the script and he wrote it. This day in history, Henry Ford installed the first assembly line made for the production of an entire automobile. By using an assembly line method of manufacturing, Ford took the 12 hours it previously took to build a car and squeezed it into 2 hours and 30 minutes. When Ford created his Model T car, his goal was for everyone to have one, so he knew he had to lower the cost of production. By breaking the process down into 84 simple steps, Ford significantly lowered the cost of his automobile by 1914. Now over to Logan and Jesse with that scrumptious lunch. Today for lunch, we have bacon cheeseburger with a whole grain roll, turkey and gravy with a whole grain roll, raging south of the border chicken sandwich, bologna and cheese sandwich, PB, P, PBJ Uncrustable, chicken Caesar salad, mashed potatoes, glazed, glazed sweet potatoes. Oh my god. Uh, broccoli with cheese sauce. 
We have fresh cauliflower and dip. <laughs> Pineapple tidbits, fresh fruit, or that wonderful slushy. slushy. In sports resorts, now for the thought of the day. Good morning, Ephra. My name is Owen Weaver, and I have the thought for today. Opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work. Thomas Edison. This is important because many people turn away from opportunities that could help them be more successful in life. But they do not take the opportunity because it is the easy way out or they might get their hands dirty. How can your past experiences shape your future? Young adult author A.S. King will visit the high school on December 13th to talk about her own mistakes and how they have led her to where she is today. She's open, honest, and funny, not to mention the author of more than eight critically acclaimed books, all dealing with characters your age. If you're interested in attending this assembly, please let Mrs. Hall or Mrs. Engler know as soon as possible. You will miss periods two and three and will be responsible for any missed work. We will also be selling A.S. King's books <coughs> before the event so we can have them ready for you on December 13th in case you want her to sign your book. The order forms are available in the Media Center and on Schoology. Whoa. I've just had a revelation. It's that time of year again to go nuts for donuts. I know. The student council is running the annual Christmas charity homeroom competition this year. Does that mean that the homeroom that raises the most money will get a deluxe donut party? <laughs> yeah. It's a donut party with all the fixings. Hot chocolate, milk, OJ, fruit, bagels, Christmas cookies, you name it, we got it. So, all that happens on December 22nd, the day you leave for break. Wow, that's a lot of fixings. But my real question is, does second place get anything? Ha, <laughs> yuppers. The homeroom that gets second place will get a regular donut party, which is just, just donuts, but it's still pretty great. Uh, and those donuts will be here on December 22nd, the day we leave for break. You've got to be kidding me. All right, here's my real, real question. Does third place get anything? The rumor is... Their homeroom gets high five from Mr. Marzok on December 22nd. Uh, I like fist bumps. Well, I'm, I'm sure that could be arranged. All right, well, that pr prize sounds better than the rest. So don't be a cotton-headed ninny muggins and help out some local effort of the families this holiday season. Every little bit counts. And don't forget to bring in your loose change during lunch. That's right. Student council is collecting trays at each lunch period for 20, 25 cents. <laughs> That is so awesome. Like, I'm personally, I'm too lazy to take my tray up anyway. And this is this way, you know, someone else is same. doing it for me, and I'm helping a great cause at the same time. Pretty sweet. Sweeter than a candy cane? <laughs> oh, yeah. So talk to your homeroom teacher and see how you can spread Christmas cheer for all the world to hear this holiday season. Raise some moolah. That's it for us today, Ephrata. There we go, yeah. That's it for us today, Ephrata. Have, have a magnificent day. Ha, ha, ha.